Hi guys! Today on Divas Can Cook, we are making homemade red velvet cupcakes. They're so bright and pretty and moist. I love this recipe. And we're going to top them with some homemade cream cheese frosting. So quick, so easy. Y'all ready? Let's go! Okay, we're gonna start with our dry ingredients. I'm gonna add my all-purpose flour into a bowl. Next, I'm gonna add in some unsweetened cocoa powder. And then I'm gonna add in my salt, my baking powder, and my baking soda. Dump that on in. We're gonna whisk this around and get everything nice and combined. And as you can see, there is not a lot of chocolate in this red velvet. This is a very milder red velvet. I have two red velvet cupcakes cupcake recipes on my blog so if you want a more bold one you can make that one this is a rather safe and mild one okay next I'm gonna add in some granulated sugar dump that in a bowl and we're gonna add in a little bit of unsalted butter and I'm also gonna add in a little bit of oil I like to combine those two that way you get the flavor of that butter but you get that bomb texture that only oil can do only oil can do it all right so we're gonna whisk this I meant not whisk but mix mix it around to get it well combined and then we're gonna add in our egg one egg and next we're gonna add in one egg yolk one egg one egg yolk okay all right, so once you have that in the bowl, go ahead and just mix it, mix it, mix it until it is combined. That's how it should look right there, all whipped and beautiful. And next we can add in our distilled vinegar. Gotta have distilled vinegar and red velvet and some vanilla extract. Dump that in. You can also add in some coconut extract. That's so good in there. Coconut extract, mm -hmm, it is. Next I'm gonna add in my buttermilk. Yep, gotta have that buttermilk as well. Go ahead and just mix this around until everything is well combined. Won't take long, won't take long at all. Okay, so once you have it all mixed up, you can go ahead and add in your red food coloring. Make sure you use a good brand of food coloring. That way you won't have that aftertaste. I hate when a red velvet has an aftertaste, all right? So just use a good brand of food coloring and you will be good to go, honey. All right, so go ahead and just stir that um, food coloring in. Now your batter is gonna be kind of splotchy because of that buttermilk and vinegar, but don't worry about it, honey. It will, it's gonna be fine, okay? Next, we're gonna dump our dry ingredients into our wet ingredients. I like to use my spatula just to kind of get everything mixed in first before I break out that mixer. But once all that flour is all mixed, mixed in and stuff then I break out the mixer and just make sure that everything is just well combined it's so pretty I love it love it love it love that color okay here's how the batter should look nice and whipped and fluffy just like that perfect now we can move on all right I'm gonna go ahead and line my little cupcake pan with these little cupcake liners I'm using white you can use any color you want to okay Place them into your pan and now I'm going to use this little ice cream scoop to just kind of scoop them out and then dump this right into my cupcake liners. Now make sure, make sure you don't overfill, okay? Three fourth full is all you need or it's going to be a disaster. It's going to overflow. It's going to bake unevenly. Yeah. Now go ahead and give them a shake to get all that batter nice and even. We're going to bake these 325 for about 18 to 20 minutes. When they come out, let it sit for about two minutes before removing them from the pan and placing them on a cooling rack to cool completely. Looks good. Now let's make our frosting while they are cooling off. There's some cream cheese going into a bowl and a little bit of butter. Make sure that these items are room temperature. Don't melt them. Go ahead and just mix this around until it is so creamy and smooth and then go ahead and add in your powdered sugar a little bit at a time until you have this luscious whipped and creamy cream cheese frosting. This frosting is very light. It's very whipped, very, very light. You can place it in the fridge to firm it up if you want to. Next, I'm going to add in a little bit of vanilla extract and that is it. No milk, nothing, just pure cream cheese and butter and sugar. It tastes like cheesecake. I love this frosting so much. My favorite cream cheese frosting. Okay, that looks perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and pipe these onto my cooled cupcakes. You can use any design that you want to. Okay, I'm not being fancy with it. You can garnish it with like um, some nuts. You can garnish it with coconut or like some little crumbles from the extra cupcakes because this will make about um, about 13 cupcakes. So you'll have one left over to kind of garnish. And look at that, that texture, y'all. It's so fluffy, I love it. But that's it, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my other videos later.